Robbie! It's Robbie from the future. Whatever you do, don't get on that train today. What? No, not really. I'm just kidding. Then what are you doing on my phone? We're going to learn about screen replacements today. Oh, cool. When are we going to learn that? We're going to start right now. What are you what are you doing? The intro didn't start, did it? No, the intro has not started. <laughs> Come on. Got to get better at these. Yeah. Hey guys, Robbie here, and today we're going to be talking about things to remember whenever doing screen replacements in After Effects and Premiere. So whenever you're recording your footage for the screen replacement, make sure to put a green screen in your phone so you can key out thumbs and stuff like that whenever it moves in front of the screen. Also when recording, try to make all four corners of your electronic device visible, because whenever you're tracking it in After Effects, those four corners are going to be really paramount to getting a really well-tracked shot. So once you've recorded all your footage, it's time to start working in After Effects. First thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your clip and then drag it into your timeline. And we have it here, let's play it through. So now that we have our clip ready, we're going to track the motion because we want our screen replacement to be on point with the green screen on your recording. So to do this, go to your tracker tab and track motion. You want your motion source to be the phone screen. And then we're going to do track type of perspective corner pin. So that's going to give you a box that you're going to select the corners of the phone. So you can zoom in a little bit. So select your box and just move it right to the corner. And you're going to do this with every single corner. Alright, so once you have your corners placed, we're going to analyze this. So before you analyze, you need something to track the motion to, so we're going to create a new solid to track all this motion points to, then we can replace it later with the screen recording. So we're going to go to New, Solid, and make it red so you can see it later. Press OK, it's going to be there, and then we're going to edit the target and make sure it is selected to Red Solid 2. Press OK, and then let's analyze this. All right, so we're gonna apply this to the red solid by clicking apply. So now we have a tracked red solid that's going to be our reference point for our screen replacement. So make sure it fits, looks good to me. All right, so we're gonna place that under the phone screen. So now we're gonna key out the green. Now you see how the red solid is placed over the thumb? That's why we use the green screen onto the phone so we can key out our thumb and make it look like it's a real screen replacement. So select your phone screen, go to effect, keying, then key light. So from here, we're gonna select our screen color, select the green, and to really key it right, we're gonna go to our alpha channel. So now we're gonna be able to uh, kind of mess around and get the black to stand out really hard against the alpha channel. So to do that, go to your clip black, kind of adjust that, clip white. So we want it to be really hard against and make sure that it's completely keyed out. So now we have our black, and it looks to me like it's going, it's completely keyed out, and we're gonna go back to our view, and see how my thumb is, well, the entire thing is very, very grainy, but we're going to soften up that thumb, so. So obviously the keying has kind of messed up our video a little bit and messed up our color. So to do that, we're going to layer an alpha on top of that so we can uh, maintain our original footage color while still having the key. So for that, we're going to copy our phone screen by selecting Control C and paste it again by Control V. And underneath, we're going to delete this key light on the layer below so make sure that the top layer has the key light on it and the one below does not. And then we're going to go to track mat and alpha mat this to the others. So now we've maintained our original color from the clip while still cutting out the green from the key. So now to put our screen replacement in. To start off this, let's go to our red solid and we're gonna pre-compose this so we can affect it in a different composition. You need to leave all attributes and phone screen so it can be affected later. And let's go to that comp. So right here, we have our project, and we're going to load our phone message into this comp. So we're right here. And now to make it fit, we are going to scale it all the way to the corners of our video. And trust me, it's going to come back to its original size later, but for now, we need to scale it into the box. That's not how my head normally looks, but it's pretty close. So now when we go back to our phone screen, it's going to be completely inside of the phone. And look at that, picture perfect. 
thumbs out of the way, it's playing right, it's playing good. So I highly recommend using After Effects for any sort of screen replacement job because there's so many more options that you can use. Uh, there's no motion tracking in Premiere, so whenever you use After Effects, it can you know uh, track a moving screen a lot easier, and you know it's the only one that can do it. So if you have a screen that's not moving, uh, you can use Premiere, and it's you know really really simple. And I'm going to show you to do that right now. All right, so here I have a clip of uh, Logan just sitting on his computer with a tripod shot, you know, really simple. And I'm going to place a video over top of it. So this is going to be the video that I'm going to place over into his monitor. So now all you got to do is just go to Effects and then go to Corner Pin and then drop that on top of your video. Minimize your footage that's going to go onto your laptop screen so it's just about the right size. So now that we have our corner pin effect selected, we're just going to drag the corners to every portion of the laptop. So once you've used the corner pins and got them to the right places, that's really about it. Remember, this effect only works if there's nothing passing by your screen, so you can't have a hand wave in front of it or anything else if it's not matted out. So I'd recommend using After Effects if you're going to do that. So I hope these tips helped. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and let us know in the comments if there's any other videos like this you would like to see. I'm Robbie Janae with Shutterstock.com, and we'll see you next time.